the adjusted gross income. So that's why you can think of it as kind of like a contra income account, but it's a deduction. So now you've included in income the jury duty pay, and then you've reduced it back out with the adjustments to income. So there's no net impact from the jury duty pay when you get to the bottom line of the subtotal, not the bottom line, the subtotal of the adjusted gross income. That's the general idea. So uh, jury duty pay, enter your jury duty pay if you gave the pay to your employer because your employer paid your salary while you served on a jury. So they want, they said, hey, we're going to pay you. So we don't want you to get double paid. We're already paying you. So you give us the money. And that means that you didn't really get double income. You just got paid your normal income. But instead of going to work, you went to the jury duty. So other adjustments, uh, use line 24Z to report any adjustments not reported elsewhere. List the type of amount uh, of the adjustment. So if there's any other kind of adjustments into that category, then that's going to be in uh, the other adjustments on uh, the schedule one. So next time we'll take a look at just uh, plugging this into the tax software, which might just wrap our heads around this a little bit more clearly.